Hi Aries and welcome to your Aquarius full moon tarot reading. The Aquarius full moon is on August 15th so this tarot reading will cover the period of August 15th through September 15th full moon to full moon and um, we're going to start off by pulling a card to see what is most likely to manifest for you with this full moon energy materialize within your life and I have house cards and planet cards so the house cards um, are going to represent something most likely to manifest externally in that specific area of your life and the planet card if that's what comes out it's most likely to be manifesting internally within you in some area of your life so let's see um, what comes out for you Aries what is this Aquarius full moon bringing to you guys Ooh, okay, so you guys got a house card. That means it's something manifesting externally. Ooh, and we have the 11th house. And guess what, Aries? This is the house ruled by Aquarius, okay? So this Aquarius full moon is going to be especially strong for you. And this says, where the cosmos grant wishes, luck, friends, and social occasions. So Aries, there's some luck unfolding for you during this full moon cycle. Um, there's maybe some new connections coming in, you know, friends, reconnection. You might be really social and popular, invited to a lot of different things, some like really prestigious things. Some of you, okay, it's just there is something manifesting for Aries with this Aquarius full moon in the 11th house, the 11th house energy. And you know how the full moons affect each and every one of us. Um, has a lot to do with our personal astrology, right? So this is just a general reading for everybody. But Aries, that right there is beautiful. A beautiful external manifestation. So let's gain some more insight about this. Okay, so we ooh, we have the adventure. So um, this is like a door opening, new energy coming into your life. This is great. Aries, I like that. Pairs very nicely with the 11th house. Now we have the Book of Destiny. We have Sinking Ship. We have Downfall. And we have the light bearer. I knew, see, I knew this fifth card was going to be positive because um, sinking ship and downfall, obviously uh, not positive energy, right? But the fact that the light bearer, the light bearer right there is what ends this lineup of cards tells me a whole lot about what's manifesting for you Aries so the adventure and book of destiny Aries something that you've really been trying to manifest for yourself um, you know new friends um, a trip with friends a trip with your partner just a you know trip or vacation in general um, maybe a new job it's just there's something here where you want new and the adventure and the book of destiny like this is you've been thinking about this you've been asking spirit asking the universe okay and that's what's coming in to manifest for you however with sinking ship and downfall Aries what this tells me is a couple of different things a um, which you are originally asking for how you want it to manifest that's not how it's going to play out but it's like to your satisfaction of what actually happens with the light bearer there, okay? Or this could be where you've had a lot of setbacks, okay? And, um, you know, you've just been going through a lot of trouble or challenges, things like that. And now, you know, this Aquarius full moon. And I like that the light bearer because Aquarius is the water bearer, okay? And so the light bearer, I feel like this Aquarius full moon, um, and that's like a play on words that Spirit's giving me, like this Aquarius full moon is a huge sh shift in your consciousness, your perception, Aries, because Aquarius does rule the mental realm, very innovative, very 
um, beyond their time, like, you know, way beyond their years. And so there's a lot of uh, insights and clarity coming to Aries through this Aquarius full moon energy, okay? And um, there's with sinking ship and downfall, Aries, there may be some situations, some relationships in your life where you just see them as dead ends and like nothing's ever going to change here and you're ready to like sweep it out because again, there's this new energy coming in, like new connections, um, a new offer. It's like something about traveling or um, like a job, um, it's like a big change out of your current situation and you know it involves your 11th house which is you being social, um, attached to your friends, your connections, but it's also about your wishes, okay? And with the friends being attached to the 11th house, the light bearer, that's somebody who's gifting you something, Aries, um, you know, offering you this adventure, opening that door of opportunity for you, helping you manifest your destiny here, helping you see like how um, going about certain things um, the way you've been doing it is like not um, the right way for what you're trying to achieve, like showing you an easier path or a better path for what you've been trying to achieve, okay? That could be what the light bearer is bringing in, which is allowing the manifestation, the wish fulfillment, okay, Aries? So this is definitely an external manifestation for you guys with this Aquarius full moon, but it comes along with utter, utter clarity of the mind and like total shift in perception about <clears throat> different things. So let's pull some tarot cards to gain more insight, Aries. And this is the vice versa tarot, so there is images on both sides. That's why you see me <clears throat> flipping them like that. Okay, Aries, let's see. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. All right, so we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Two of Pentacles. And we have the Seven of Cups. Yes, Aries, where you've been trying to be noticed, trying to be seen, um, feeling confused, lack of clarity, like, what do I need to do different? Which way do I need to go? Like, how is the best way to handle this? Um, or, you know, like some of you who have may, who may have really been trying to um, work towards some big accomplishment or big step in your life, um, this Aquarius full moon energy is like giving, aligning you to the right connections um, to help you further advance or um, it's like the right people are finally going to start noticing you or seeing you. Um, this could also again be in your workplace where you felt blocked and restricted like that energy is finally dissipating out of your life Aries and um, there's this transition, transformation, manifestation um, coming forth into your physical reality between August 15th and September 15th. And it's just really where you were quite restricted, okay? That's changing and it's like the right people are finally seeing you or finally noticing you or you align with the right people and you get new direction, new understanding, um, get proper support or offered, you know, like some sort of a vacation trip travel going on and, um, it could be like, man, that's really awesome, but, you know, how am I going to juggle everything? I just, it's going to work out for you, Aries. It really is, and a lot of clarity is also coming to you. So, let's pull some more cards, and this is going to be further advice from your spirit guides, Aries, about this manifestation that's coming forth through this Aquarius full moon energy. All right, so we have a bee of service. And that to me, that's the speaking of the job, um, that job change or, you know, opportunity coming in or, um, you know, this right here, bee of service could be the 
uh, confirmation of how I said you're finally getting noticed for all that you have been doing and giving and putting out there because remember it's like what you've really been trying to manifest for yourself you've been hoping for that's what's coming in Aries and oh my gosh this is as I'm saying that thoughts create your reality yeah you are definitely going to see a manifestation of your own energy and thoughts and desires coming forth for you, Aries, with this Aquarius full moon, and it looks good, and I just feel it um, shakes out some energy where you've been feeling kind of stuck or challenged, can't move forward, and it's like you're shifting gears, going in a new direction, and that like brings about the clarity, and um, with the light bearer also, there may be some sort of unexpected gift. Um, bestowed upon you or this unexpected help that is part of this manifestation your thoughts create your reality the adventure and book of destiny right there and then you know the be of service I've already explained that so Aries this looks very promising for you guys for this Aquarius full moon cycle so those are your messages I am wishing you all the best take care